morning. It is day 15, journey to become wealthy. We are going to check out our futures. We already know that we got our good news on yesterday. The market started turning, making an upturn. So let's see if it stayed that way through the night. Okay, our Dow futures are at 0.65% plus 0.65. S&P 500 at plus 0.71 percent. The Nasdaq futures are at plus 0.71 percent. So that's implied positivity in the market. We got some good pre-market moves for the S&P 500, big eight percent on Accenture PLC. I'm not sure what that company is. So Delta Airlines is up 2.29 percent. That's a good one. Western Union is down. 1.04% might be something to look into. Let's see. The Hang Seng is up plus 0.23%. That's good for those of us who have uh, stocks in Hong Kong, China market. Okay, okay. I don't see anything negative there. Everything looks looking positive to start off with. Let's see if we got any updated news. We got 13 hours ago, Dow Futures up nearly 200 points following Fed decision to aggressively wind down asset. Stock Futures higher after Fed accelerate stimulus pullback. Let's check that out. Stimulus pullback. Stock Futures higher after Fed accelerate stimulus pullback. U.S. equity futures were trading higher Thursday morning after the Federal Reserve said it would accelerate its pullback of economic stimulus. The major futures indices suggested a gain of 0.6% when trading begins on Wall Street. The Fed said it will likely raise interest rates three times next year to tackle rising inflation and will shrink its monthly bond purchases at twice the pace it previously announced in line with ending them altogether in March. So this signals that they're trying to help with inflation and also stimulate the economy. So the Fed is going to try and help us out, guys. They're going to try and help us out. Let's see. I want to see something. Let's see the Russell Futures. Russell 2000 Futures. Russell Futures. Mm. And, uh, so the Russell is another future. We look at it sometimes, but it's up 1.25 percent. It's another, you know, indicator of the market how and how well it's doing. So that that's we looking good, really. We looking good all around. I like to see that. All right, y'all. Let's see what we got for our stock market. Um, our heat map, stock heat map. All right, let's see what the market going to look like today. Look at that green. Well, primarily green, majority green. I love to see it. I don't love to see Baba down 3.25%. I'm in that one. We all see me in that one. I might have to reconsider. Again, Chinese stocks kind of hit you hard sometimes. They can hit you hard sometimes, but everything else, financials are down a little bit. So, PayPal looks like it's up, but that's good for me. I like that. Let's see what the world looks like. Uh-oh. Let's go back. Okay, it's on the world again. There we go. And around the world, we're looking green again. You know, again, these are the larger markets, you know, larger companies. See how Baba's the largest company? China is all red. You guys see that? Definitely not a good thing. Definitely not a good thing for me, for some of us who have these Chinese stocks and investing in it. Hopefully they get some po a positive catalyst soon, similar to what we've got in the U.S. with the Fed announcement. Okay. So today, my recommendation is going to be, hey, hopefully you got in. We, we saw the floor yesterday. Hopefully you got into some of them at the bottom and you can start buying. We can start buying some things. Um, we, st we can start uh, actually, you know, follow the market, see how it's doing and uh, hopefully make some money. Today should be a good day. I'm going to check out crypto. I know you guys see me typing again. Yeah, I know I'm, uh, I'm at the nine to five, so.
take me a little time, but we are gonna get there. Oh, look, it's the first time we checked out the crypto heat map and it's been all green. <laughs> been all green, been all green. One thing I probably look into is this NFTs today. I'm really interested in Like Julio yeah, Jones, stood in the bones, yeah. hungry to food in my bones. That's gonna be something I, I look into, the NFTs. So hopefully we'll see. We'll find us some good plays, and I'll keep y'all posted on if I decide to buy or get into anything today. I'm sure I will, especially if, you know, I might do some profit taking if, if things come back up. Those Chinese companies are actually some I'm, I'm looking at getting out of. So I have Baba and Neo. I think I'm going to look to get out of those within the coming weeks of things are looking good. But yeah. So you guys try and make some money. If y'all have any questions, y'all have any comments y'all want me to look into, like, leave a comment, and I'll get to it. Have a good one.